a former Navy SEAL, offering a masterclass on leadership. Jocko Willink is that Navy SEAL, and he joins me now. All right, Jocko, you've got five tactics for effective leadership. If you don't mind, I'm going to go through them one by one for your comments. Is that okay with you? Let's do it, Stuart. Number mm. one, listen. What do you mean by that? Well, it's, I think, the most underrated tool of leadership. Everyone thinks about what they should be saying and what they should be telling people yeah. when they should spend a lot more time as a leader listening to what the team has to say. I can see that. Uh, build strong relationships. That's kind of obvious, isn't it? Yeah, it seems obvious, and yet all the time I work with people that prioritize other things above the relationship. So, yes, building that trust, that respect, that influence between two people is the most powerful thing you can have on a team, solid relationships. Well, what, what do you mean by practice discipline? Well, discipline isn't just an idea that you can keep in your head. It's something that you actually have to do. And inside of an organization, you have to set up you have to set up constraints so people know what they're doing, they know how they can work, and they know how to get things done without having to ask for a bunch of additional information. That takes discipline. You can move through, uh, through things very quickly. That's real good, Jocko. How about uh, number four? You strike a balance. Strike a balance with what? Well, you have to strike a balance with everything. For instance, if I was going really fast explaining things, maybe this time I have to <laughs> slow it down a little bit and explain that we, as human beings and as leaders, if we get extreme in our opinions our, or in our actions, it's usually going to cause a problem. So as a leader and as a person, it is very important to stay balanced. For instance, we don't want to be making emotional decisions because those will be bad decisions. But at the same time, this doesn't mean we should be completely void of emotions. We need to find a good, solid balance as people and as leaders. Last one, take ownership. In other words, take responsibility. Is that accurate? Yes, this is accurate. And you wouldn't think that I would have to throw this in there. You wouldn't have thought that I wrote a book about taking ownership and that that would strike such a chord with people because it's something that we all learned in, you know, the third grade from our teachers and our parents who said you have to be responsible for your actions. But yes, indeed, all the time people make excuses. They blame other people. They blame other things when a problem occurs instead of actually taking ownership of the problem yeah. so you can come up with a solution to get the problem solved. So there's your five principles of leadership. Listen, strong relationships, practice discipline, strike a balance and take ownership. Do you think that the commander in chief, President Biden, has those leadership qualities? I think that the commander in chief, I think it would be a, a, a difficult thing to do to judge him in his present state as a person mm. because I don't think that he's really functioning at a, at a full cognitive level at this time. Well, that's a direct and sharp-edged answer. Last one. Do you miss being a Navy SEAL? Yes, I absolutely do. I miss it every day. Best job in the world, working with the best human beings in the world. What, what was it special about it? Listen, when you wake up every day and you know that the job that you're doing is to go out and defend freedom and democracy around the world, that is a pretty powerful thing to be able to do. And then when you have a bunch of friends and brothers that are extremely focused on the exact same job and mission as you, it's a very powerful feeling to have. It's a camaraderie that I don't think exists anywhere else in the world. For, forgive me for asking, Jocko, but I, look, I've never been in a battle. I've never fired a gun in anger, period. Uh, is that what you miss, the adrenaline of battle? The adrenaline and the intensity certainly is something that you can get a little bit addicted to, but more important to me was the friends and brothers that I had that I worked with. And, of course, I still maintain contact with them, and I work with a lot of them today at, at the company I have now, Echelon Front, doing leadership consulting. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jocko, just so long as you're on our side, that's all I'm worried about, okay? <laughs> and we like your principles of leadership. Good stuff. Jocko, come and see us again soon, please. Got it? Thanks for having me. You got it.